Enforced disappearances in Iraq are a common phenomenon. Enforced disappearance is when state forces detain someone and then the authorities provide no information to their family on why they're being held and where they are. It's a serious crime under international law. What we've seen in the battle against ISIS is a real spike in those numbers with security forces using the guise of counterterrorism operations to target mostly Sunni Arab families and detain Sunni Arab men, often in areas that were at some point under ISIS control. We have documented dozens of cases of enforced disappearances. We know of cases of boys as young as nine who were disappeared from their families. We know of men as old as 70 who were disappeared. But most of the individuals were men in their 30s. In most cases, family members were there at the time their relatives were detained. They actually saw the detaining officers. These were people in uniforms with badges, showing very clearly their affiliations within the government structure. Many families have been far too scared to even ask authorities to find their loved ones, and some families have spent years trying to find their relatives. They've spent years going from courthouse to courthouse, from prison to prison, and still to this date do not have a single piece of information that tells them if their relative is alive and is being detained.